Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're going to do this snow scene again. Uh, this is another snow scene. <laughs> this is a painting that I did of a field in Ipswich uh, covered with snow and big, big boulders, which is wonderful. All right, sketch it out, and we'll begin by uh, a, a streak of phthalo blue against the top of the sky and a little cobalt blue teal towards the horizon. All right, then we'll get this marsh in on the left. The marsh is uh, raw sienna and uh, a little touch of quinacridone sienna. As you're painting it, uh, a lot of horizontals, leave, uh, try to leave some specks of white in between uh, to, just to signify some little patches of snow there. Watch that edge, this edge coming down. Now this edge is very important. It leads you right into the painting uh, and it's against that white field of snow, so it's really nice. All right, so keep these stre streaks, uh, strokes horizontal in there. And as I say, you know, if you can leave some specks of white here and there, it really helps. And then along that edge, um, just try to calm that down a little bit. I'll put some cobalt blue on that in a little while and that'll really uh, calm it down because it's very hot right now. But as the, on the edge right here, there's little pieces of grass that are not connected to that field that, you know, they're outside and that really helps. All right, we're gonna put this big, uh, big wash, big cluster of grass in here. Uh, so very dark against the rocks and this quinacridone Sienna and ultramarine blue right up against the rocks. It's, it's almost black, but it's very warm, so push it towards the quinacridone sienna. And then as you come up, add, just keep adding more water, and we'll push, we'll push the pigments in a minute here, but get that top edge, it's all, you know, the, the photo itself, you know, the painting, the oil painting is much more uh, brown but I, I like the, the warmth of the watercolor, so I'm gonna keep that on the quinacridone sienna side. And as I say, it's very dark, and it's gonna even dry lighter, so we'll probably have to go back later. All right, on the clusters of grass here that are springing up over, I, uh, those light catches, I don't know what they call them, but the, uh, the grass that's shooting up you know, with the clusters. I added a little bit of rose to it to punch it up a little bit. Make those big enough and strong enough, you know, they're up against the sky, so it's really a nice, uh, you could put a nice rhythm to those uh, pieces of grass up there. So this is all still very wet, so I'm just pushing it, pushing it up and letting it come back down. It's like putting another wash on there. All right, there's a bush just behind this grass. It's got some nice bright light on the left side. All right, just a patch of cobalt blue in the back. Those are just distant hills. And then uh, I mixed ultramarine with quinacridone gold here to get this dark green and that's that mound of trees in the middle and then there's very dark trees in the center of your painting here sticking up into the sky same color I just a little darker ultramarine with quinacridone gold give you a beautiful dark green and you could even add a drop of rose to it if you want it even a little darker. And that's coming up against that bush. That's a cluster of trees in the back. All right, so now we'll paint these rocks. Uh, again, quinacridone sienna and ultramarine blue to get this kind of a black but you don't want it to be this cold black color so you want to once you put it in you can see I'm putting some cad red in there but any warm color you know cad cad red you can put some 
Going to actually don't sienna in there. You can put some raw sienna. Uh, anything to warm it up a little bit and drop it in. Don't don't paint the whole thing, but drop it in. All right, this one I added a little cobalt blue because there's a gray section. You can see it of uh, of that rock. Okay, we'll just piece all these rocks, paint all these rocks together. There's a flat, interesting flat rock here. So I'm just putting in all the darks, all the rocks that, that under the snow, so the snow is covering a lot of them, and we'll, we'll get back to those, uh, put some nice shadows on that snow. But right now I want to establish the rocks. A little negative painting there. I picked up a little bit of that red to put in this, in this rock on the right. Going back to restate that dark on the bottom of that grass. Quinacridone sienna and ultramarine blue. Pushing it up. You can see the sienna there, nice and warm. And I'm using almost just water here to soften that edge and get it really Nice and light and bright up towards the top. Okay. Just restating that uh, little bit of rose up, up on the tall grasses. Just help at the jump. A little bit of grass effect here. All right, I think we're ready to put the shadows in now. So, you know, everybody sees shadows differently. You know, I, I like to use uh, different colors of blue. So this is ultramarine. Put a little drop of rose in there. You know, and sometimes the gray, you want to put a little drop of uh, maybe raw sienna in there, it'll gray it down. Pay attention to where the light is coming from our right. So it's casting the shadows to the left of all this stuff. So. See, I'm dropping a little phthalo blue into that, into that mix that I had, and it's. I, I think it's great to, when you're painting snow, to use different color blues because it reflects the sky, it reflects this and that, and you know, it's always gives you a different kind of look. Anyway, there's a bunch of shadows on these rocks. Study it out, and un there's a deep, very deep dark shadow behind this flat rock. And the rock there I haven't put in yet. I just kind of dry brushing that grass. You know, very dry on, on your brush there. Now we're gonna put this heavy grass in that's in between the rocks. And so what I'm doing is placing it there and then using a very dry brush to, uh, to push it up and to you know, suggest the edges of the grass there. Okay, very dry, just give it a push. It'll really pick up all the moisture. Okay. Go right up in front of those rocks. It's really nice when you when you do that. 
be nice and loose and juicy with it. Don't, don't try to paint, you know, individual streaks of grass. Uh, you may want to put a little bit of a dark edge on the, on the far edges of the, of the marsh there, just to help it sit down. A little more grass. The sky looked a little light to me, so I'm just putting another wash of phthalo blue on it. Very light shadow on the field. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you again very soon. Thank you.